Hi everyone and welcome to Leisure World Model Railway. It's been a while since I last posted a video. I've uh, been a bit busy, uh, been on holiday and also I caught COVID which set me back a while. So, but I'm back now and uh, so let's get on with this video. So this is a lounge bar area for my station. Uh, the bar bit is scratch built so I built a little till in bottles on the on the back of the bar, some glasses lower down, uh, some stools, let's say a scratch belt out of pieces of wood and balsa wood, uh, got some chairs from Scale Model Scenery, uh, newspaper and thing that the uh, people are reading, so I've got a couple of people in there. So this is going to go in the interior of the lower part of the station. Uh, you're not going to see much through the windows, but what if someone smart addict asks me why there's nothing inside, uh, then there will be something inside now. So that is the that is going to be the bar, the lounge bar area. I've also built uh, a luggage area. So here we have the luggage area because there's also on the station on the lower ground area a. Uh, luggage collection point so when you look through the windows this is what you will see uh, so there'll be a desk a few bits of luggage and again I've scratch built a little shelving and so when you're looking through the windows that's what you'll be able to see and then to go on top of these so this is this is this this is on the ground floor on the left of the station and this will be on the ground floor on the uh, right of the station, actually, it's that way around. On the right of the station, if you're looking at the station from the front. Then on top of it, uh, on the upper floor, I've built these things, which is like an office. Now they're gonna sit like that on top, okay? And I've got a little office built in there. So when you look through the windows, hopefully you'll be able to see. Now you're not gonna see all this detail, looking through the windows, but I do light up the station and you can see that it's empty inside at the moment. So now I've got uh, these things built and I've also got one for the other side, which will also sit on just about there like that. So when you're looking through the windows on the top floor, you'll see a little office. Now again, it doesn't look particularly great in detail and that, but it will look like something's inside the ha inside the rooms, you know, you're not going to be able to zoom in and look at it in this detail. And so you're not going to see that it's uh, a bit basic, you know, it's not great modelling as it were, but it will do. So hopefully when you're looking through the windows, you'll see a glimpse of what's inside. And that's the point. And that's what... I'm hoping to achieve so that you know if anyone questions why you can look through the windows and see nothing that won't be the case anymore so we'll put it together and uh, we'll show you more once it's inside the building and the lights are on and we'll see what we can really see inside if that makes sense okay until later okay so the uh furniture is now inside the station and I've lit it up so if we get down and lower into you can just see through the windows hopefully the bar area now maybe you can see why I wasn't too bothered about the the how how really detailed it was because you can only just see what's going on inside just trying to Oh, that's the top top floor. You can see those desks and things in. And then from this angle on the top floor, you can see the office is got there. And then the, the lounge bar again on the bottom floor. It's hard to get. It's easier if you're just using your naked eye and bending down and having a look through than trying to stick a camera phone in it. It's very hard to get a... Uh... And then on the other side, you've got the luggage side, which, uh, again, you've got the top floor. 
you can see the office and you got the luggage below and get rid of the luggage in that bit there and now from this side hopefully my fingers aren't in the way you can see that there's uh, an actual luggage uh, collection point on the building and so when you put the camera in you can just about see the luggage inside and then you've got the door for the lounge bar at this end and again if I go down where am I then you can see the lounge inside So that is uh, what it looks like from the platform side. And this is what it looks like from the street side. And I can take off the, the roofs. So if I take off this roof, you can see inside, obviously I could take off that bit to see the, set, the ground floor if I wanted, but that's the office side. Got the brick wall at one end. Where there's no windows and then as always we've had the middle bit which comes off which is the the foyer if you like for the station where you go through to get onto the platform so that remains the same although i have put the brick uh walls on either side now originally there was just a gap and then uh here on this one the other office which uh, this is above the lounge bar. So that's the other office. Oh, what's that? That was, that was me, a uh, pigeon just falling off. So, yeah. It's come out quite well, I'm quite happy with that. You can now see there's something inside and uh, There's quite a lot going on if you take the time to look around. Now the question is whether I do the far side or not as well. You can see that these are lit up but you can't see anything inside which was my original problem with this one but I'm not sure I will because these windows are even smaller than the other windows and I don't think it's worth the uh, effort of putting stuff in it. Uh, Whereas these windows were slightly larger, they were double windows, so you could see right in. I might light up the middle bit, although you don't necessarily need to, because you can't really see much except through the skylights, but you really need to take the, the roof off, and once you do, you can see clearly inside. So I'm not sure that needs lighting up, but it does look a bit odd having the middle bit not lit up with those middle windows. So. Mm have to think about that one okay other things I've been doing on this layout recently uh, just a bit on the beach scene so if we come along the beach scene a bit you'll notice there is now a windbreak there and a deck chair care of scale model scenery uh, and I've got another windbreak down here and a stack of deck chairs so uh, that is all new for the beach scene. Uh, other than that, now here, I had already put people in here. There's a couple uh, having a bit of fun uh, in that one that's been there since day one. Uh, you've got all the uh, girls hanging around, uh, chatting up the, the surf dudes, sorry, not surf dudes, the lifeguards. Uh, and uh, yeah, one of the lifeguards seems to have got lucky in there. Uh, then in this next hut, we've got some uh, lifeguards looking over some maps on a table. One having a cup of coffee. Again, she's 
they've been there since day one, that detail. Uh, and this one just has a table in it. But uh, I haven't bothered uh, putting anything inside that one. So they're the three life lifeguard huts. So there is something going on inside each of those. Uh, and that's really, that's that's the beach scene. I don't think I'll put anything more on now. I, recently, I put the donkeys on a, a while back. Uh, the horses went on a while back as well. And of course we've got uh, the shark scene. Uh, went and when I, I do have this all lighted as well. I've got the, if you watch other videos, you'll see that there's a guy taking a, a picture here. I uh, haven't got it switched on at the moment, but he's taking a picture. I've got a girl taking a selfie. There's pictures going on on the boats and everything. This needs a real dust. It's filthy, so I'm not going to turn it on now and show all that. But uh, it can be seen in other videos. Uh, so that's the that's the beach scene. So now, currently, I'm working on uh, putting some people into some of these shops, which is why the shops have all disappeared. So that will be my next video of some interiors of the shop fronts. So hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, and I'll show you more shortly. Meanwhile, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, until the next video, thanks, thanks for watching. Cheers and bye.